Hey, just thought everybody would like to know, um, we're out here in an orphanage here in Copan Reynas, Honduras, and we're doing an aquaponic system here, and it's pretty exciting. I'm gonna show you around here. Um, just thought everybody would like to know and just kind of follow this project. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, we're gonna be doing a greenhouse and some other things, so I'm just gonna kind of show you a sneak peek here. Okay, uh, back here is uh, the the um, the place where we're going to put the aquaponic system but also uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build a, a chicken coop as well um, we're going to probably have about 60 to uh, maybe 70 chickens uh, in this coop we're going to train them and teach them how to raise chickens and then also obviously with the eggs and then be able to harvest the meat and then produce more chickens in the future so like i said that's where we're going to put that um, we're going to put a black soldier fly box over there and then also in the same area we're going to do vermiculture as far as with uh, earthworms uh, for the aquaponic system. Um, but also too over here, um, it looks a little rough but I mean in time we're going to have it all fixed. Uh, uh, over here we're going to uh, do composting um, for the soil because we're actually going to do soil as well. But there's composting that we're going to set up over there. And then we're gonna do a, a garden over there. So like, you know, melons, watermelons, uh, things that's more viney, uh, that's gonna take over things. Uh, that's what we're gonna put over there. So we're gonna do uh, permaculture uh, with the uh, composting and then do like wood shavings um, on top of the uh, soil to uh, uh, retain moisture and so forth because around here it gets really dry uh, from January to, to May. So we're gonna try to uh, retain a lot of the moisture and so forth. And then up here, uh, along this uh, hillside over here, we're gonna start planting Moringa trees. Um, like I said, this is an orphanage, so we're gonna incorporate Moringa into their diet, uh, drying the leaves, grinding it into powder, and then they can actually put it into the food um, just to you know, add more nutrition uh, for them. And then here, what a beauty we got here. Um, as you can see, this right here is where we're gonna set the aquaponic system. Um, we're gonna do uh, half barrels. Um, and then uh, we're gonna do one fish tank and then we're gonna put a greenhouse over So we're not gonna get crazy as far as in size um, We're gonna do uh, 14 grow beds. One of them will be a duckweed uh, For the fish, but like I said, we're not gonna go nuts on this uh, We want something to where they can easily maintain it. Um, I live here locally So um, I'm gonna be involved in the project continuously as well. So it's gonna be a lot of fun You know, uh, we're gonna be able to learn a lot working together. I'm gonna be able to teach them on how to maintain the system and then act, you know obviously uh, use the system for the orphanage and then she's really excited because she wants to use it as, as education as well to teach the kids because obviously you know there's a lot of responsibility in in something like this so it's really exciting that um, that you know we can uh, you know do a full spectrum you know uh, teach the kids but also at the same time help her lower her cost for for food uh, and uh, so it's just gonna be a lot of fun. So just stay tuned. I'm gonna be posting a lot of these as the project uh, grows uh, We're, we're uh, washing and preparing the uh, IBC totes and barrels today And then Jorge over there is uh, getting ready to build the Gallinero. So well uh, the chicken coop. So God bless you guys. Thanks for watching